Hello, my name is Nancy Strickland and in the next seven minutes I'm going to talk about using an accelerometer in your Windows Phone 7 Silverlight applications. An accelerometer is a device to measure acceleration, which means that it can detect when it's been moved or tilted and how much. Microsoft requires that manufacturers of Windows Phone 7 hardware include an accelerometer so that developers can use changes in the phone's physical position in their applications or games. What you're seeing here is a video of Eric Rudder from Microsoft demonstrating a game on Windows Phone 7 where tilting the phone back and forth makes a little character run back and forth across the screen. The accelerometer class is in the .NET framework in a namespace called Microsoft.Devices.Sensors. The basic methods here are start and stop, to start and stop reading values for the accelerometer. The accelerometer automatically tracks three values, X, Y, and Z, for each of the three dimensional axes, left and right, top and bottom, and up and down. The reading changed event gets fired whenever one of those value changes and your application can then read that data and react to the change. The axes for X, Y, and Z on the phone don't change when the phone's orientation changes. The Y axis on the phone is always towards the top of the phone, the side opposite the hardware buttons. The X axis is from side to side across the phone and the Z axis comes right through the middle of the phone straight toward you as you're holding it upright and looking at it. The range of readings from the accelerometer is from negative 1 to positive 1. If your phone's being held straight up, the readings will be 0 for X and Z and negative 1 for Y. That basically shows you that the force of gravity is operating to pull the phone downward on the Y axis. If you then turn the phone sideways to the left, you'll change the X value to negative 1 and the Y and Z will be 0. Gravity is now pulling the phone's X axis in the negative direction. If you flip it to the other side, then the X value becomes positive 1. And if you lay the phone down on a flat surface, the Z axis becomes negative 1. Of course, there are also intermediate values for intermediate positions. Reading these three values as they change tells you how the user is manipulating the phone and then you can write code to react to that. I'll start by opening a new Silverlight phone app template. I install these templates by following the instructions that are in the Getting Started video that's part of this same series, Windows Phone 7 and 7, on MS Dev. I'm going to drag two controls onto the design surface, a Start button to click to start the accelerometer, and a text block to display output. I'll double click the start button. Before I write the code for the click handler, I'm going to add the namespaces that I need to use the accelerometer class. First I'll add the reference. It's Microsoft Devices Sensors under the .NET tab. And now I'll add my using statement. Now I want to declare an accelerometer type. And now I'll go down to my click handler and paste in a little code. First it instantiates the accelerometer and then it starts it. But I also need to make sure that my accelerometer can react to the reading changed event. So above this start, I'm going to add that event. Then I'll type the plus equals and use the tab twice so it'll attach the delegate and create the handler method. Then in the handler method, I'll replace the exception with this code. What it does is use the begin invoke method to start a new method, my reading changed, running asynchronously so that it can be passed the event args for display while the accelerometer, remember, is still running. And now I'll write the method I want to invoke, the my reading changed method, and I'm passing the accelerometer reading changes event args from this handler to this method. And I'm just going to print out from those event args the x value, y value, and z value with a little formatting. Now I'll run it. You'll see the emulator start running 
and then the app being deployed. I'll click the button here and you can see that it's worked. It's, it's kind of small, but the x value is 0, the y value is 0, and the z value is minus 1. Those are the default starting values. Remember that they're the x, y, and z if the phone is lying flat face upward. But in this beta version that you're looking at, the emulator doesn't emulate an accelerometer. So even though I can rotate the emulator by clicking this rotation key, nothing changes on the display. I can't get any changed values from an accelerometer that isn't there. So what I've shown you is how you hook up an accelerometer on the actual hardware, and that's simple enough. But at some point, what if you needed to be able to get emulated data, say for testing and debugging? There are several possible ways to do that, some of which use hardware and some just software. But they all take more time and explanation than I can cover in a seven minute video. So next I'm going to give you some resources to look at with several ideas for generating emulated accelerometer data. These first two links link to a couple of videos of good live demos of Windows Phone 7 that include the accelerometer. The first is by Giorgio Sarto and the second is by Rob Miles and it includes using an Xbox 360 controller to emulate an accelerometer. The next link is a sample that emulates an accelerometer in two dimensions using the mouse. Then there's an MSDN article that explains how to emulate an accelerometer in software. And then the last is a post in an MSD forum with links to some of these same sites and others. That's been a quick look at using an accelerometer in your Windows 7 phone application. I'll put a copy of the code up on my blog so you can download it. And as I post new videos, I announce it on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.